In today's Let's Play episode, we are taking a break from the monotonous grind of building factories and keeping up with production because we need power slugs to make power shards, which increases production and demands more power. Basically, I'm fucking myself in the best kind of way, consensually here. We're going on an adventure to find a bunch of power shards and goodies, so stay tuned. I really want to produce more rotors, but I have a bottleneck on screw production. How do you have a bottleneck? Are you only pulling from one of the containers? Yeah, I am only pulling from one, but you got to realize the machine requires 125 or 120 screws per minute. And the belt can only carry 120 screws per minute. Use the Mark III belt. I don't have the ability to build the Mark III belt right now. It's too expensive. Go grab some... Well, I have the steel. I just thought I should let it build instead of this. Why? If you build the, if you build that upgrade now, then you have more rotors being made, which shortens that amount of time. This is just a lot to build. All right, I guess I'm gonna go grab steel. Going on a far away mission to a distant land. I almost feel like I should build a tower just straight up in the air so I can just parachute everywhere. Well, we are completely full on fucking silica. Not that we have a huge need for it. And quartz crystal. Time to ramp, 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 ramp up over duck shit. All right, grab like 600. Hopefully that's enough to upgrade this belt. We're so close yet so far away, Biscuit. It's time to increase production speed. I almost wish there was a way to plant the barrel nut trees. What you building over here? I'm not building anything. I'm just upgrading. I got you. You're basically increasing the belt speeds. You want to uh, come on, drop me a stack of that that steel you brought? Oh, it's not a full stack. Will cool. that do? I upgraded all your belts already. You upgraded my belts? Which ones? Your screw. Oh, what the fuck? I used all the steel I had on me to do it. Okay, so now it's moving up to 270 resources. Uh huh. Which means now I can overclock this. Now I'm producing 10 rotors per minute, so I essentially just doubled production on that. Oh, fuck yeah, that works. And don't get me wrong, I, I'm nowhere near where we need to be for rotors, but hey, that gets us somewhere. Because we need 1,000 rotors and 1,000 reinforced steel plates, don't we? I think we need 2,000 reinforced steel plates. Oh, am I tripping here? Let me see. Because I think it takes rotors and... and no, it's a one-to-one -one ratio for the smart plating. Yeah, but the... Uh, oh, okay. The other one needs them as well. The, uh, the uh, first tile frame. framework because of the yeah. uh, modular frames. And those yep. require three to 12. I gotcha. <sighs> well, have we done the stitched iron plates yet for production? Is that any cheaper? The cop, we don't have enough copper in the area. Well, there was another copper node that I didn't utilize that was over by where I started production on the steel beams. I think it was uh, in here. Oh wait, you're talking about over there. Yeah. I'll go double check to see what it was. Do you have any uh, power shards on you by chance? I have one. I thought I had some more slugs chilling. Did, or did we already use all the shit that I had from that? I've used what I had in a container. And then I think I also mixed my stuff with yours because I saw you had a bunch of Mercer spheres and stuff. And yeah, I, I did. My sloop and stuff in yeah, because we got like 20 Mercer spheres. I've also got fucking, uh, I got power shards here. I got seven on me. Do you want to use it? I should be all right. I've also got five slugs on me. How do I craft the power shards? Uh, just at the bench. Okay, cool. Oh, so the slugs will essentially produce more power. I get it. Yeah, the slugs get turned into the Basically, power Basically, the tier of slugs creates more or less. Yep. Blue's the worst, purple's the best. All right, so I'm just going to set those off there for now, and i got to clear my inventory out of some random items. I don't need quick wire to that level on me. You going power slug hunting? Alright, I'm gonna clear my inventory and come with. I thought I had it from my other playthrough. I, in my brain, I had a jet pack on. So I went to go boost. And now I'm just gliding slowly. We're almost done the next set of tears. It's almost time. I think I could go explore with what I have. Oh wait, no, I don't have my food on me. Yeah, I, I've been holding on to a stupid amount of bacon things from when we went out and ran into things the first time. The danger. The lots of danger. Okay, it's a good thing you weren't uh awake earlier you would have heard me scream like a little girl because i was busy focusing on collecting something and then all of a sudden there was a spider in my face in the game uh-huh yeah, i had to double check that real quick i've seen a couple spiders in here nothing too crazy though hello big guy uh, make sure to bring some ammo with me because if i'm going slug hunting i know i'm gonna run into some shit yeah I, I, I just realized that as i'm fighting one of the big spitters 
Do you need ammo? <laughs> yeah, but I can just place down a thing. I was gonna say I can make you an extra stack right now. I'm making like 300 rounds, so give me a moment. I can meet up with you. Unless you just want to build one on your own. I already did. I'm okay. hiding on top of it from a big hog. Well, that's why I was asking. All right. Feature, you don't have opposable thumb. I guess it's time to go slug hunting at night. It's a pretty good time to look for him. Oh, if I'm a slug. Oh god, that was a big spider. Oh, where did you come from? That was not cool. Can you hear me? Crescendo, the effigy found the key. Sing more. I was not created for artistic purposes. I am incapable of singing. You what? sing. Noted. What? No, I found a Mercer sphere and they're talking to each other. It's very interesting hearing the way they communicate. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna, conversations are gonna get kind of interesting. They already have been. I'm over here just blown away at what this game's been about so far, but I'm kind of excited, you know? It's interesting. Production, production, production. Exploring, exploit. Fill the rivers with blood and let the effigies defile our temples. The sun will follow. Mm. Fill the rivers with blood. Oh, I'll get more of it. Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with, and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. Scripture and blood from Hell's army. Follow our hallowed temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. Our bones are more beautiful than yours. No, I would fall off the fucking cliff here. I see slugs everywhere over here. Oh my god. Your friends should solve it to fluid to a tapestry. Matter, 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 and mind and melody. That worries me. So the things that the one thing talks about worries me when it's talking about your bot, the blood, like fill the rivers with blood, something, something about a temple and all that. Oh, that's exciting stuff. Exciting. Yeah, that, that's where the game really picks up is when you hear things like that. <laughs> that worries me. No, no need to be worried. All right, Somer Sloop. I don't know what to do with you, but I'm grabbing you. Those will be useful uh, once we can get more research done on them. They're extremely helpful and also a pain in the ass. I now have four yellow power slugs. I haven't found a single one yet because I got distracted by the finding the Samor. That seems like a reasonable distraction. I have yeah. found a crash site. I got a hard drive that I had to analyze the MAM. Uh, you can build a MAM and just analyze it and then do I found eight start. turbo motors. Throw them bitches in the awesome thing. <laughs> Electromagnetic control rods? Yeah, you're gonna find quite a few interesting things out there. Aluminum casting. I love how I'm back on another adventure. But I guess we did increase production first. We did. There's not much else you can do at the moment. Well, no, there really isn't. You could do even more production, but... But to do more production, we're gonna need slugs and power and everything. Since I found the Sam, I'm gonna work on something for us real quick that'll be extremely helpful. I found one of those radioactive fucks. I could tell because he's like green. Uh, those things are scary. <laughs> They're dangerous. I killed him though, I ain't risking shit. You were able to- oh, you just sit like from far away and just shoot at him? Yeah. This is a pretty cool place. The I haven't map, been here yet. The map on this place is beautiful. They really did a good job with the world building this. I like the fact of how many different biomes there are. 
Oh, are you by like the corals? No, oh, I'm in a massive danger zone. That's like everything in this area. And it's like, oh, the hard area? Yes. Oh, they, I killed them all. It's weird because now I'm like not as scared of dealing with these mobs and shit. Because <laughs> you got the rebar gun. <laughs> Not only do I have the rebar gun, I just have more faith in myself. We'll see how that, how long that lasts. Oh, this is kind of by that place where I said I wanted to build my base. This is exactly where I said I wanted to build my base. There is only one kind of kind of spitter. Oh hell no! What kind of plasma is that? <laughs> You can shoot multiple balls? The splitter a little bit more dangerous than ones you're used to. Yeah, he's blue with like this green ass mouth. Oh, I'll say you have found quite a few Mercer Spears already on your adventure. Don't know what that means towards the end game goal, but no, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you good? Not at all, bro. This thing should not have explosive damage like this. Talk about the spitter. Yes, dude. It's ridiculous. You can't hide behind anything. It just hits you. That's why you run. I'm collecting my blue slug. I'm not dipping. All oh, that for a blue slug. All right. Well, here. Let me, let me do some research for you. Let me get to the exciting stuff now. Dimensional depot unlocked. Sand what? can be utilized to deconstruct matter down to its chemical elements in one dimension. Uh -huh. and the Mercer sphere allows it to be transferred and stored in what? another. What? Once parts are fed into the dimensional depot, they can be accessed by the Pioneer inventory and build gun system at any time, anywhere. Uh -huh. Missing through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter. The metal will not bend. The wood will not splinter. We. <laughs> All right, that's right, buddy. Dimensional Depot. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's make it even better. Manual Depot uploader unlocked. Storage dimension and pocket dimension now connected both ways and stable. Parts can now be uploaded to the storage dimension directly from the inventory. Note. The storage dimension now understands the boundaries of the pocket dimension and recognizes the distinction between matter belonging to the Pioneer's inventory and matter belonging to the Pioneer. The window within the window, within the shallows, within the deep, curling around itself separately, echoes strangely. I'm sure strange is the correct term for what this must feel like to you. I'm sure that means, I'm sure all this means nothing to you at the moment. Oh, I'm so just trying go. not to die. I'll go ahead and, uh, do something for you to make it make sense. Yes, please make it all make sense. This is probably one of the most handy things that have come out of their official release. Are you somewhere safe? I guess you probably know. Oh, I'm in the middle of fighting these fucking exploding butterflies. Fair enough. Alright, I am somewhat somewhere safe now. Open your inventory and look at the far left side. Inventory. Oh, inventory. Mercer spheres. Eight out of fifty. Nine yeah, out of fifty. Ten. So that is the dimensional depot. We can now upload materials to it and take materials from it anywhere in the map. So this will basically give us the ability to start anything anywhere that we need. Yep. So like how you. So underneath there, you'll see like five little slots. Anything in your inventory, you can put there and it'll start to upload it and then how do we pull it out just click and drag to your inventory oh okay cool or if you're building so does this mean you can take pull. shit from this too that i upload or is it just for me so <laughs> it's shared between us so if you say uploaded the uh the power slugs i would be able to pull them out if i needed to oh i'm uploading I, them right now i was gonna say i use them a lot when i'm traveling i'm I'll uploading upload the like, mercer spheres as well what about the hard drive Oh, I could do that, yeah. 
then I can start the re I can let it start researching. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I got everything uploaded. It should be damn near full. It does take a little bit. They're slow. We can research to make it upload faster. Right now, it's only doing 15 things per minute. And then we can up research to get it to 30 per minute, then 60, then 120, then 240. But I use it a lot. It's very handy when you're, like, you're traveling with you are, so if you find like valuable things, you can just set them to start uploading. So that way, if you ended up dying, you don't lose them. Yeah, no, this is very true. This actually hypes me up because like I'm out here pretty deep. I'll start the hard drive. Because I guess if I'm out here just grabbing a bunch of this shit, this is a hella clutch though to have that now. You can choose to set it to where when you're building, you can have it take from your inventory first or or not. So when you pull out your build gun, you can literally build from the materials inside the dimensional depot. This was, that was not something that was available during early access. That was very nice to discover the added. I am so close to dying right now. Do you not have heals? Or are you just getting smacked around? I'm getting smacked around, but I'm all out of fruit now. That is one of the downsides of adventuring. Okay, I got four more blue slugs, and I found two ships that I want to go explore. But there's dangers around them. There always will be. I found another dead ship here. You're gonna find a lot of those. Explosive rebar. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. All right, here I'm uploading another one of those things. Hard drives. Uh, if you want to use your explosive rebar, you just hold R, and you'll be able to select between your different ammo types. Just fair warning. Once you run out of one ammo type, it does not automatically switch for you. You have to switch it yourself. Well, thank you for the fair warning. That's actually super helpful. Oh, yeah. I've died because of that. Just running away from something like, why can't I shoot it? Stuff. That's fine. I didn't expect to be doing another adventure right here. I kind of figured I was going to stay over there until we get production down, but this is necessary. Technically, you could come back now if you wanted to, but if you're having a good time, might as well just keep going. I want to try the explosive rebar on this thing. <laughs> they all have different. Holy shit! <laughs> this thing's OP as fuck that I'm trying to fight. Are you fighting? I killed him though. Is it one of the giant hogs? All right, this will be the third one I've uploaded there. We got a bunch of hard drives. And no, right. it was another one of the spitters. Have you found any special spiders yet? No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever you come back to base, I can show you one. Uh, you found a lot. I have blue power slugs, 10 yellow. There's nice. more getting uploaded right now <laughs> that I'm about to upload. I got two more blue slugs getting uploaded. Yeah, my thing's taking forever because I was uploading a stack of 100 straighters or staters. Yeah, we should be pretty set in terms of slugs for now, I think. There's a bunch more over here that I can keep grabbing if we need them, but... Oh, there's a ton of yellow. Yeah, always be a ton of slugs. I would say, I'm just going to head back if that's the case, though. If we're pretty much set for ramping up production now, there's no point for me being here now. No, you should have us pretty set. I didn't even get to adventure because I got set trying to get us this dimensional depot since I No, the dimensional depot, that is super clutch what you just got us. Like Well, I really wanted it. Like I knew about it and I'm like, oh like that would be dope to have, but exactly. I don't know this area. I don't know this area, so I just kinda randomly found this and it's like, oh, well I guess I'm doing that now. That's what I've noticed about this game. You're in the middle of one task, you get sidetracked, and then next thing you know you're building a fucking space elevator. I still think it was funny that you had the comment on your uh, your YouTube channel. The guy is like, this game is addicting. It is. It is so addicting. I just can't believe I have people even tuning in. I'm not surprised. Uh, I hear you. It's, it's not like I have that much views, but... No, but it's an interesting game. And I'm sure if you started using doing some shorts, you'd probably also increase yeah, the viewer Yeah, I 100% agree that if I was rocking shorts, it would help a bunch. That's what I'm gonna do later today is get a couple shorts edited and uploaded. I should be doing that right now, technically.
I have no roots, nor do I operate on windows, but perhaps you mean something akin to the human saying. My point of origin is Earth. I was created by specific individuals of the human race. Incompatible music. Did I say something wrong, or did you not understand? minute left on that hard drive. You cannot be shallow deep. The ripples you cast into the void have no skin. It seems I may have said something paradoxical. Interesting. It's weird hearing the computer talk to this like artificial life form. <laughs> but it's also extremely interesting. They're over there talking in your head and it's like, yeah, I'm just here. How close are we to getting any of the uh, space elevator shit completed? Uh, check. Probably quite a ways off on, I shouldn't say quite a ways, but we're probably a decent amount off on smart plating in the versatile framework. However, I did set up the one that we need a hundred of earlier. So here we go. Oh, I'm almost back. Oh, that first hard drive you got us is a be is a beautiful thing, Ham. Yeah, what was it? Plated pocket dimension. Plated pocket dimension? Six more inventory slots. For the pocket dimension? No, for your uh like your personal inventory. Oh, I increased inventory space? Another six lots. Let's do this real quick to make make that better. Dimensional upload speed increased. Part of the kinetic and thermal energy released during matter conversion has now been repurposed to aid with dimensional shifting, allowing for more parts to be transferred in a short time frame. We've got sixteen hundred steel beams. Shallow Should I grab them and bring ripples? them back? I certainly hope that wasn't meant to include me. Oh, you could, but you don't have to. How many did there we go. total? 12,000. Oh. oh, never mind. Dimensional yeah. expansion increased oh, to 200%. Low. Refining manipulation of SAM allows us to now deconstruct non-living matter down to its atomic components in one dimension and store it in basic bound states in another. Cool. We did not resonate with the tribute song. Do not worship at the window. Desecrate our temple gifts. This shallow serenade is sour and salt. My intention was not to encroach, if that is what upsets you, nor was it to dispose of material I do not waste. Should I disassemble the turbo motors again? Oh uh, yeah, and the, the, the sink. Research completed. AI limiter recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. All it gave me was 16 printable coupons? Yeah, that's what the sink does. It recycles parts, gets you coupons, and then you can spell, spend the coupons in the awesome shop. Cool. Oh, split that, uh, here. This one coupon on the ground. This singular one. Did you, did you already uh, put the other ones away? I don't know where they are. It said I got 16, but I don't see them. Did you collect? Did you? Oh, you, you printed the coupon, but you didn't, you didn't take them. Where do you print them? <laughs> I, I grabbed them. Oh, like, do they come the out little... like here somewhere? See when you, uh, when you open the machine, see the print coupon button? Yeah. See that little slot next to it? Oh. An actual coupon comes out that you have to click. I thought I clicked it. I guess it didn't work. All right. So I want you to take this singular coupon. Okay. And put it in the thing to go into the sink. Fix it sees what you did there. How creative. I have also been creative. There is something extra special for you in the awesome shop. Uh. It is a marvel of technology. It is truly the shape of the future. I will be sad if you do not use it and love it and tell any Cyber wagon! All about it. Why do they have a cyber truck in this? Is that what it does? That's what it unlocked for you. I have 17 coupons. I am three away from a cyber truck. <laughs> oh, dude, I need to get the cyber truck in this bitch. I thought you might like that one. I, I definitely like that one. Well, let me go ahead and craft up some of these slugs into fucking power shards here. I got so many on me. They're also something you can upload. Those power shards can also be uploaded to the depot. Yeah, do they give me anything worthwhile though? Well, no, I mean, like to the, the, the pocket thing. Okay, I got you. Yeah, the two, so the two researches I did for that, now, now when you upload stuff, they upload at 30 per minute instead of 15. And it can now hold two stacks of any material instead of just i've got 48 power shards they're all right here in this little one you can just upload them to the 
to the little thing and then we can use them as needed. You know what? That does make more sense, doesn't it? That's a wonderful thing being able to do that. That really, really is, truth be speaking. I've got those uploading. Now my inventory is damn near full. Okay, so a little adventure was definitely a success, I'd say. And I got all 100 of the one of the, the phase thing or one of the face elevator things uploaded into a RDM oh you elevator. do have all 100 this is true so we got one one of the things I... finished we just need a lot of crafting left to do how many fucking rotors have i produced in this time i'm gonna guess only like two three hundred i am at 500 rotors i need 500 more to do this which means i need about 500 reinforced steel plates i could always start crafting those right now instead of throwing it into an assembler you could. Because I don't really before have much you, else to do right now. But before you do that, you could throw the assembler down. A, an assembler fed by two crates to start making one of the, uh, the things. Oh, you're uploading all of our iron, reinforced iron plates to the dimensional thing? Yep. And then can you set down a dimensional thing to drop those items? You can't. That's, it's only something you can access in your inventory. Okay. So what'd you but say I should do is set down an assembler and just put a storage thing and just have them run into each other for a personal assembler? So for the, like the smart plate, so yeah. you can start making that. Even though you don't have all of it yet, you can start having those get made while, you, while we're crafting the rest of the other stuff for them. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you, what you're suggesting is that I fucking build a thing for it, right? More or less. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Let's Play. We will catch you in the next one.